Okay, so today I'll be showing you how to do a blowback effect and after effects. So right now I have the footage of me shooting a pistol. They are not real and it's as a plastic. It doesn't shoot blowback. And um, yeah, let's get started. So right now you're gonna do is find the part where you're about to shoot and like here, but it's motion blurred. So you wanna uh, go back in one frame. So like this clear. What you're gonna do is duplicate this and you're gonna split it and make it in one frame. Like this. So it's one frame long. Okay, next we're gonna do on the duplicate video, what you're gonna do is mask it in half. So you're just masking this. Okay. The more you mask it really well, it's it's just perfect. Uh, so right here on the half of this point, you're gonna get up to about here and yeah okay next you're gonna do is you're gonna uncheck this box so you can see this well you're gonna move this the amount you want to make the blowback I want to make it really back there then you're gonna bring this up so you can cl it's clean and then you're gonna check this again and then now what you're gonna do is repath this You're gonna repath it so it's really clean. And then. So you'll see this, it's pretty clean now. And then you're gonna feather it about five, I say. And then what you're gonna do is do use the directional blur. So you're gonna type directional so right here. And you're gonna find the direction right here and you're gonna bring the blur length. And then, yeah, it's pretty good. So it's, yeah. But usually a real blowback pistol, you'll see the barrel right here. So to, do the, to make the real barrel, uh, you're gonna do is you're gonna find the clean plates, like clean background, right? When you see uh, clean, uh, I guess this is clean. Then you're gonna do is uh, duplicate it, split the video in half, and you're gonna delete that, and make a one frame. Uh, okay, and you're gonna drag that below the blowback pistol, and you'll see this. What you're gonna do is go to transform. You're gonna turn the opacity down you'll see this and then you're gonna go to the blending mode option to difference and you're gonna bring back the 100% what you're trying to do is you're trying to make everything here have black but you see my camera is not moving so it's obviously it's really clean if it's moving you want to make everything try to make everything black and so yeah but right now there's no problem so I don't need to do this so just turn back to normal I'm going to turn this in about 50% so I can see. Next we're going to do is we're on the, the duplicate video, you're going to use a mask and you're going to make a barrel shape. This is really easy so yeah. So the barrel's right here and there's another tip right there but you can just make your own using your imagination so about this long, oh yeah. Like this long, and then, well, actually, you can. I can just make my own, and then, well, this part should be short, and then you're just gonna, you know, make this part really big, and then you, if you turn the opacity back up, it's all removed, and then you're gonna. Now we can do is we can finally play around with this, repath it, 
I'm going to use a G tool. Make it round shape. And then. Um, yeah, make a round shape. And then let's see. Yeah, it's okay. And then you're going to feather this. So, so um, I'm going to feather it and five, same thing as that. And then, yeah, it's pretty much, that's pretty much it. So it's like, it's only one frame long. And beside it. You're gonna add the, we're gonna add the muzzle flash, and so, yeah. I'm gonna rotate this, make it a bit bigger. Blending mode to the screen, and then we can use the effect to stylize, to glow, and make it behind to on top. Bring the, the threshold down and then bring radius up, and yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it, I guess. That's pretty good. So, thanks for watching, and please subscribe and like me on fan page on Facebook. So, yeah.